We'll start off this chapter talking about integers. And when we refer to integers, we are referring to the whole numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, and all of the negative numbers that correspond to them, such as negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. And it's important to understand integers because negative numbers are important. In the real world, numbers are used to represent real things, such as the height of a building or the cost of a car or the temperature of an oven, all of these things can be represented with numbers. And in a lot of cases, it simply makes sense to use a negative number. And we'll look at some examples right now, just several real world examples of cases where it makes sense to use sometimes a positive and sometimes a negative number. Okay, example number one, having $100 might be represented by the number 100. And then owing $100, owing is the opposite of having. So owing $100 might be represented by the number negative 100. So if you have $100, that number 100 represents how wealthy you are. And if you owe someone $100, that number negative 100 represents how wealthy you are. Example number two. The Celsius temperature scale is based on the freezing point and the boiling point of water. So water freezes on the Celsius temperature scale at a temperature of zero. And let's write zero degrees Celsius. And this little circle typically means degrees. And then water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Now we can have temperatures that are below zero, colder than the freezing point of water. So 12 degrees Celsius below zero would be written as negative 12 degrees Celsius. Example three, a building is 70 feet tall. That's 70 feet above the ground. It also has a basement that goes 22 feet underground. So the height of the building, the height above the ground could be written with a number that's 70. And let's put the unit on there, 70 feet. The depth of the basement written with a number might be negative 22 feet. If we're thinking a positive number indicates up above the ground, then we would use a negative number to indicate down, going down below the ground. A similar concept shows up when dealing with, with motion. In this case, we're talking about velocity. A car moves forward at 10 miles per hour, so the speed is 10. And you could write miles per hour MPH, that's just an abbreviation, miles per hour. But I prefer to write it uh, like this, MI for miles over hour, like that, miles per hour. So 10 miles per hour is the speed of the car moving forward. If we represent forward motion with a positive number, then it makes sense to represent backward or reverse motion with a negative number. So the car moving at the same speed in reverse would be going at negative 10 miles per hour. In example five, putting $150 into your bank, a deposit, that could be represented by the number 150. The opposite of that would be a withdrawal, taking money out of your bank, and that would be negative 150.